dear brothers and sisters, we gathered this evening、um, to celebrate a, a very great feast of the church. <laughs> It's the feast of Saint Peter and Saint Paul. I always wonder how come we, in just in one day, we celebrate two important, two great things. Is it a little bit unfair to them? How come we cannot celebrate each one of them by by different days? After reflecting, meditating, I find out because the church would like us to understand it is the, what we celebrate is not these two things, but in a deeper sense, we celebrate. The unity of the church, because these two things, these two pillars of the church, symbolizes the unity, the very important foundation of the church. You see, they are very good, different, very different people, with different background, with different uh, 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 characters.、Huh? You can see, you see Peter. Was a fisherman,、uh, uneducated. Well, Paul, well educated since his childhood.、Uh, he was educated by a Pharisee master,、uh, and he was a scholar, a preacher,、uh, a scribe. And you see, Peter was renamed、uh, by Jesus to be to be a rock. Peter, in fact, means rock,、huh? unmoved, stability, very stable.、Huh? However, Paul is very active, <laughs> very active. What we can see in the second reading of today,、uh, Paul himself says that my life is like a, a race. It's like a race. Now I'm coming to the end, and then like a battle. I fight uh, uh, for the, for my faith. I fight. So you see, fighting, racing, all these very、uh, symbols of、uh, activities. So you can see these two people very different. And when they met, they quarrelled <laughs> severely.、Uh, they they quarrelled among themselves. You can tell this、uh, from the letter、uh, to the Galatians.、Uh, Uh, written by by Paul himself. However, they cooperated. They helped one another, and they worked together to build to build up the early church. It is not because they have the same interests,、uh, they have same、uh, something in common. No, no, no. The only thing they are in common is Jesus Christ. Is the Lord? Is the Lord Himself the new the foundation of their unity, of their cooperation? And it tells us that what we are celebrating is the this unity of the church. Dear brothers and sisters, let us look around in our society, in our world today. A lot of conflicts, confrontations, even hatred. People would like to kill everybody. Others cannot live together, cannot stay together, because I am different from you. We have different views, so we cannot. I cannot bear you. I cannot tolerate you, dear brothers and sisters. The church has to confess. After Saint Peter, this faith in the Lord, you are the Christ, the Son of the Living God. By confessing this, we acknowledge that God loved us so so much that He became one of us, and we, every one, every one of us, is the son and daughters of God. So we are brothers and sisters. We have to love one another. We have to love one another. Other than that, there's no way out. 
There's no way out. However, we cannot love one another if we depart from God Himself. Therefore, we have to make this confession again and again in works and in deeds. You are the Christ, the Son of the Living God. This is what our mission, the mission of the church, this is what the world is looking for. They look up to us. They want to see this in the church, dear brothers and sisters. And that is why our diocese decided to have this pastoral theme for these three years, parish renewal, or according to the document, parish conversion. That means we need to, to modify or to make necessary change in our parochial structure in order to do evangelization work, in order to make known this confession. You are the Christ, the Son of the living God. Because by confessing, by confessing this, we acknowledge that we are brothers and sisters. We have to live together. We have to be in unity. Therefore, my brothers and sisters, this confession of St. Peter has to be our confession. So, I would like to ask you <laughs> to repeat this, to bear this in mind, because this is, has to be our own confession, not today, also tomorrow, also the day after tomorrow, also our whole life. You are the Christ, the Son of the living God. It's from today's Gospel. Which Gospel? Which Gospel? Matthew. The Gospel of Matthew. Which chapter? Chapter 16. Which verse? You don't know, huh? because it is not written here. It is not printed here. But I, I check it for you. It's, chapter, uh, it's verse 19. Huh? So it's 16, 19. Huh? So I repeat it for you. Huh? You are the Christ, the Son of the living God. Matthew 16, 19. You see, I am very kind. I repeat it again and again for you. How come I'm so kind? Because I also would like you to repeat for me. <laughs> uh, in fact, not for me, uh, but for yourselves. <laughs> because we have to leave it out. You are the Christ, the Son of the living God. Matthew 16, 19. So, can you repeat it? Sure, sure, it's easy. Uh, it is not only for the, for the sake of easiness, but also because it is the work of God for us through St. Peter today, uh, this evening. So let us repeat it together. You are the Christ, the Son of the living God. Matthew 16, 19. Very good. Now, let us pause for a while. Listen to the confession of St. Peter and make this confession to be our own together with Peter saying to the Lord you are the Christ the son of the living God and listen to him he, what he would say to us you are my beloved my son my daughter